morning, y'all. Um, I come in here and check it out, check some salt, but see if we had any salt there in our little trough we got set up in here for them. Um, feeding cattle bread this morning. This farm here is right across the road from our house. I have to go down the road a little ways to get over here, though. And I just wanted to brag on something right quick. We're going to be feeding cattle today. Uh, my grandpa is having a colonoscopy done, so I'm going to be actually running his uh, route today. So y'all going to get to see the tractor route, or the easier route anyway. <clears throat> so I'm going to go on that one today, take y'all along with me. But I wanted to brag on my little ox beam light. I got a little bit. I put this thing on it. I've, I've been using it on the tractors. I've been using it on this thing when we go up and down the road in it and whatnot and i love this light so far uh that thing is, is awesome i mean it it's so easy to move from one thing to the other the only thing i wish it had is i wish it had a little longer cable but now i did point that out the other day but i am going to talk show y'all something that i found it's actually going to be easier to show it from in here this cable will actually stretch pretty dang far and then once you stretch it out so far and you leave it for a while it will actually hold that way and it'll stay stretched out so it's not as short as when you first get it you can actually pull it out and make it a lot longer but it would be nice if it was a little longer eventually i may cut it and make it longer i haven't made up my mind yet but i really like it uh, it's it's nice I don't know if it's helped me by getting run over yet or what, but I ain't got run over yet. Everybody's gonna be giving me hell wanting to know why I'm feeding with this truck. Now, I could put four bales on it, and I can, but we don't normally use these ton trucks because the cattle tear them up. Um, the white truck that we bought, the transmission went out, so we had to use something else. So we got this red one that we've had so long, and we're using it right now to feed with, or I am today, and that way I ain't got to make so many trips. Um, <clears throat> But the reason why we don't use them is the reason why this truck still looks as nice as it does is the 2000 model. It's because we don't run them in the pastures with cattle unless we're just pulling a cattle trailer hauling cattle. Uh, now we use them in the hay fields and everything and pulling loads all the time. They get the shit worked out of them. But as far as actually going out in the pastures, riding around feeding cattle and stuff, we don't do that. Prime example, I took my Cummins that I got, my pickup, the other day and i went and i had some cattle get out the other night at one of my farms and i went up there and i was checking my cattle and i went and seen them and they was all around the truck and my bull bumped into my tail light on my truck and busted it on my nice truck so now i've got to go get an iron tail light to go in my truck to fix it so that's that's exactly why we don't drive these ton trucks we try to take care of these things because they're so darn expensive now them old beater trucks they ain't you pick them up five thousand dollars that ain't trouble these ton trucks like this you talk a lot of money a good one uh i mean it ain't nothing for fifteen thousand dollars for a good truck now this whole red dodge here it ain't worth that 
but it's darn still in such dang good shape and it looks darn good we just hate to stick it out there and let it get the hell beat out of it but like at white dodge we've got that truck is easily worth 15 grand or better even though it is the age it is because it's got the cummins in it but if we had to buy an ear truck a ton truck to replace them to pull the loads we need to pull i mean my god you're looking at if for a truck with a hundred and something thousand miles on it you're looking at easily in the 20s or better for a darn truck and if you buy one new my oh boy that ain't even a possibility for us so. all right we're gonna hit the road if I'm gonna be able to get out of here it's pretty wet and I've already spun I was gonna back up and dump them right off in that log and I couldn't back up so we're gonna see if we can't get uh, back up now I got the hay off let me try pulling up just a tad if I can back up, boy, it sure will help. Nope. Well, boys and girls, y'all hang on. It's not going to be pretty. Got out, that ain't trouble. Good old Dodge. Well, it's been a while since I showed the 383 with the loader on. We do have tractors, like I said, out feeding hay for those that were curious and why we didn't use the tractors. We've got them out everywhere, different places. I just don't show all our farms and everything we do in the cattle business. Some things or I just keep private like everybody does on YouTube. No reason for it really. Uh, some things I just don't really care for everybody to see. <laughs> oh Lord. What the heck has he done to this tractor? I have to lift going down. Come on, go down. What has he done? He he destroys this tractor every time it comes up here. I hate to see a good 383 come up here. I mean, rough on me. Look how filthy he's got the cap. He's got hay all in. He puts his darn net wrap and everything in. I stay after him. There ain't nobody I think more of in this world, probably, than my grandpa. But somebody's got to keep him going. <laughs> Uh. All right, let's go feed some cows. All right, while we're riding across the pasture here to go tote this hay over here to feed the cows, um, if you've been liking the videos, the last couple of videos I've done on talking about the cattle markets and stuff, and you you're really interested in that and you want some more information, um, check out our calf. Uh, after this video 
they have a YouTube channel. It's R Dash Calf. Um, Bill Bullard does a weekly address. I think that's how you say his name. Uh, every week, uh, they or he has been doing an excellent job explaining some of these issues I've been talking about. And going into detail in short videos, so that way they're not so long for everybody to have to watch. Um, explaining some of the issues that are out there right now in the North American, or the the American uh, beef industry right now. And some of the headaches that uh, as cattle producers are dealing with, and some of the actual underlying problems. Um, they're actually a group like the Cattlemen's Association that uh, formed several years ago. They kind of, uh, when the cool bill got enacted and put in, they kind of shrunk up or disappeared a little bit because I guess people were making so much money and then they just turned a blind eye to it and they didn't really keep up with everything. And quite honestly, it's probably part of what's got us in this mess is because we all just got complacent and uh, we didn't, keep up with everything and then when the rug got pulled out from underneath us it was too late um but uh bill does a very good job explaining some of these issues i've been talking about in detail so if y'all are interested in uh in some more info on that check him out over there at uh, rcaf youtube channel um also i just want to tell everybody merry christmas uh, this is going to be the last video before Christmas. Probably won't post anything till maybe a couple days after Christmas. Just because of all the family get-togethers we've got to do and everything and whatnot. Um, I won't have a whole lot of time to edit anything. So, I just wanted to, uh, tell everybody Merry Christmas and how much I appreciate everybody watching the videos that's tuned in and just... Hit the like button, subscribe, left a comment, whatever, uh, shared a video, told a friend. Uh, we really appreciate it. We're still a relatively very small channel. Um, we're trying to keep everything growing and moving in the right direction. We've still got a long way to go. Um, but uh, I really appreciate everybody that has subscribed or just tuned in. Um, Y'all's support means everything to me. It's what keeps me going and uh, i really appreciate it i've gotten a lot of comments lately that uh, are very supportive and i just can't say thank you enough to everyone who's been tuning in and watching um, if you want to subscribe it's free it looks like it always has been you do have to fill out a an account with youtube kind of like a facebook account or something you just give them your email and make a password and then it's free and you just have a little uh account then and then every time i post a video it will pop up um, when you click on youtube then when you hit the subscribe button on the channel and it's free um doesn't cost you a thing and then y'all can see me but I, if you don't want to don't worry about it i'm not going to see here and try to make y'all do something um because i believe that's y'all's choice not mine uh but i just want to tell everybody merry christmas and i appreciate everybody watching i hope y'all enjoy the rest of the video now, that's enough of that. Feeding these cattle up. Yeah, I got the loader on that on that thing. I don't, I, had never, I don't really ever show it much with the loader on it. Generally, it's on this farm where we feed these cattle. And I don't come up here. My grandpa comes up here because it's easier for him to feed with a tractor. Well, let's keep putting some hay out.
cattle's walking with their head sideways because it's raining. Wind's blowing it. It's like barely raining, but it was blowing it across here so hard that it stings when it hits you. <laughs> we just got off the lake down there. Pond. Ain't no ducks today. Only a bunch of ducks and geese on that thing. See? Those things make the weirdest sound. Yeah, we got some of this good sideways rain today. At least it ain't coming from up from the bottom up, ground up, raining that way. We got this part to do it that. It is miserable. <laughs> I tell you what, though, they're saying that our temperature is really going to drop here later today. We may be in for a little bit of ice. They said there was a chance in some. Especially on this farm. So, you never know. We ain't had no winter uh, ice or snow yet. I'm afraid though, in January it's gonna get rough. I just keep saying that polar uh, cold front's gonna come down from Canada down here in the United States. I'd say it'll drop temperatures everywhere, not just up north. We'll see. We got spoiled. I got spoiled today at Dairy Queen. He sure was good. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.